All right, I am a serious fan of these little mini digital chip amplifiers. They have come such a freaking long way. I've got this one right here hooked up to my garage system. And let me show you it right over here. I'm running four of these JBL 12 inch two way speakers. So I got a forum load here, forum load here, and then two 18 inch passive Yamaha cabs wired for four ohms and that amplifier powering it with a 36 volt 10 amp step up booster and it's it's phenomenal to be honest with you especially when you're running you know like stage gear gigging type speakers that are really efficient and using these little digital chip amplifiers they'll make a lot of bark though they'll, they'll go pretty pretty loud um, but there's a there's room for improvement and let me show you what I'm talking about with Fosse Audio. This is the amplifier I'm running right out here. In real world, um, if you hook up a right AC to DC adapter, I'm running a 36 volt 10 amp unit. It comes with a 32 volt. You're not gonna get 165 watts times two and 350 watts going down to the sub. Uh, maybe 80 to 90 watts per channel RMS, maybe a couple hundred watts going down there. So I got thinking, what would be really, really cool, let me show you over here. Okay, this guy right here, these are awesome. I've got a new one here I'm, I can unbox for you. Uh, same digital chip, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the TPA3255 uh, running 300 watts times two. Now, here's a, a, an idea going out to Fosse Audio here. Why don't you make a dedicated subwoofer amplifier uh, with two of these TPA 3255s bridged or combined to make 600 watts and have all the controls like you have on here, you know, sub frequency, sub volume, all that in a main, main volume. That would be freaking doable. You know, keep it at a good price point and you can marry up this guy uses preamp out, have, have the other amplifier run the subs 600 watts or more. And if you really want to go crazy, have make a subwoofer amplifier with four of these chips in there and make it a, a true 1,000 watt subwoofer amplifier. I mean, I'm just thinking out my ass right now, but holy Moses, they are just right on the cusp of something really good with this amplifier here with two of these TPA 3255s you know one's for the uh, the main speakers and the other amplifier is used just for the subwoofer it's, it's just about there this needs more of it so a couple more here and a dedicated one for here I mean it'd be freaking phenomenal and people would buy them people would buy them not to say that this setup right here is bad. It, it'll, it'll shake the living dog's nut out of this garage, especially with those Yamaha 18-inch subs full blast, but it'll kick off sometimes. So it just needs a little bit more power in there, and it'd be freaking rock and roll. It'd be a home run. He'd have a one heck of a freaking 2.1 system. So, Or make one that does it all. You know, have four TPA 3255 chips in there and two make, make it a six chip freaking amplifier I mean how much are chips and you know make it like a $300 price point you know make it a 300 watts RMS times two plus a thousand watts for the sub and it'd be it'd be freaking a home run but I'm just thinking here you know you never know but uh, these these little chip amps I got a brand freaking new one right here. Let me open it up for you. This is like my third or fourth one. But these things come with uh, a... Uh, see right here? This has a single, single in there. Great little amplifier. And all you have to do is just use the uh, pre-out because it's variable. I've tested it 
be perfect for a subwoofer amplifier, external subwoofer amplifier with a thousand watts. And these things are okay, but the sweet spot is 36 volts at 10 amps with these guys. All right, there you have it. Just thinking up my butt. Um, hopefully, you're thinking along the way as I'm thinking. Just more power. You know, and through the years, these digital chip amps have, um, you know, evolved. They've gone from, you know, 10 watts per channel, and now they're up to 300. So people are wanting more power anyway. So, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Hopefully, they'll watch this video and maybe come up with something. I wouldn't be surprised. All right, later.